Well, this is for you, David, at Elfish Tanks. Uh, these, a day early. The post office actually came through a day early. I can't tell you how many of these priority two to four day shipping boxes I've had that have landed on day seven and day eight. Okay, I'm ranting. There should be uh, six Corridor Sturby in here that I bought from David at the auction on, uh, I, I want to say November 16th. It was back in November. And then we agreed to hold off shipping because uh, all of a sudden he was getting some serious weather back there. It's been nice here. Today it's chilly. It's 65 degrees out there. For us, that is chilly. So let me open this, see how we did. Hopefully everybody's happy, healthy. And he said he, yeah, double insulated the sides. Um, I use this too. This foam insulation, this foil wrapped foam insulation, I like it. Get it at the home centers, not that expensive. A, a bunch of uh, little bubble wrap to keep things from moving around up here. Some of the old uh, cornstarch. Uh, so let's see what we got. There's the heat pack. And it is 83 degrees. So the temperature seems nice in here. It's starting to cool down a little bit, but you know, after three days, you'd expect that. A little bit of insulation to keep the fish from uh, cooking. I see fishies. And let's see what the water is on these. It is uh, almost 78 degrees, 77.9. So that's, that's really good. And there's a little jar of, uh, oh, pepper and onion relish. <laughs> Thanks, pal. I love this stuff. That's sweet. Thank you very much. And I'm guessing this is all homegrown? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open the fish, pour them into uh, this bucket. I think there's enough water that way. Um, and then I will drop them into measuring cup where, where I'm going to, I'm going to float them in a five and a half gallon. Um, and actually that's going to drop their temperature a bit because that, that tank, let me pull the cart out of the way and let me take you guys off of the tripod for a minute. I'm just going to do that and I'll cut this part out, the part where you're shaking and you should have taken your Dramamine and maybe I won't take it out because it's always fun. Here we go. Uh, 69, yeah, it's a little on the chilly side. Um, maybe I'll drop a heater in here. I've got another little heater around here somewhere. But I just took uh, Peppermint Patty, the little betta, out of here, and I'm gonna give the Corys this tank. Uh, it should be safe, Peppermint Patty's clean. Uh, there's no problems with this tank. I know a lot of you know that I've had this nasty ick problem. So let's just go with that. I think what we'll do is, is float the bags first, and maybe I'll just do a plop and drop here. Uh, well, not a plop and drop. We'll float them first, and then I'll. Uh, um, gosh, you know, I like to I like to drip, drip acclimate. So maybe we'll float them first. Gosh, I really could make should make up my mind, shouldn't I? I think we're going to do a drip acclimation here. All right. So let me get that set up, and, and see how that goes. All right. So I got the drip set up. It's dripping about that much right now. Got it on my handy dandy World Aquatics, what am I saying? Garage Aquatics 2023 World Headquarters uh, milk crate and going into a bucket. And these bags are double bagged and they look like they're, I don't know what they are, they're thick. Are they four mil um, and rubber bands? I've been tying knots just because it just seemed easier. And they're in the, the slender bags. And there are three in this bag. And then there's the filter, the ammonia, what's it called? Uh, I'll have to look, I've got some. Um, so there's water coming out here somewhere. I don't know if it just came around the uh, um, rubber band or if it came around uh, 
maybe maybe the little Corey's poke holes in, but this is thick bag, so. So my least favorite thing for cutting bags open, the box, the utility knife, but we'll make it work carefully. Don't want to lose fish and I don't want to lose blood. Okay, that should be good. So here we are, this is open. So there's three, they look cool. And uh, this, there's two little bags in this bag, so this one's also double bagged. So all the outside of all this was all dry, so nothing leaked through. That one looks like it leaked a little bit on the inside of the, uh, the double bag, which is okay. This one, the rubber band's coming off easy enough, so I just opened it. And there's a pair of three of them in here. What did you do, David? Oh, he's trapped. Come on out of there. Put a little water back in the bag. Come on. And these this rounded bottom bags too. There we go. Okay, now that one didn't have any of the the uh, little media in it. Though. Let me tell you what that's called here. The stuff I use anyway. And I'm guessing it's probably the same stuff David's using. Poly filter. Little little uh, little pieces of it cut into small chunks and put one in each bag. And it helps absorb any ammonia. Now I started watching that video with Dean and Dan shipping fish to Dean from Wyoming at Dan's fish room, or whatever it's called. And uh, here we go, three more in here. This one has the little filter thing. I think maybe you put two in one and forgot the other. Um, and he puts, it sounds like carbon in with quarries uh, because of the, I guess the potential for the quarries to uh, off toxin, there they go from their spines, they are capable of, of doing that. Let me pull you back off the um, tripod here. Take your Dramamine. And here we go, and they look absolutely spectacular. And there's uh, three, six, nine of them. Thanks, David. That was really cool, I really appreciate it. So we will keep an eye on these. I'll let this drip for, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. So that way they acclimate a little bit to uh, a slow acclimation to the pH. I'm gonna see if I can turn it down just a hair. Yeah, yeah it doesn't look like it went down much, but uh, acclimate to the pH, the other water parameters, as well as the temperature. Cause they're coming out of a warmer, warmer bag than what these, what they're gonna go into. So I gotta go find a heater for this, but we'll put them in here, I don't know, in the next hour or so. And I guess what I should say is uh, today is Wednesday, uh, December 11, I believe. Um, and, and then uh, over the next, you know, few weeks, we'll keep an eye on these little guys and see how they do. I've really been looking forward to having some stir by corridors. They are really, they're probably at the top of my favorites. But it adds one more to my my uh, line. I think I've got seven now. Very cool. Seven different quarries. All right. So these little ones have been dripping for about two and a half hours now. And the water level's up, I don't know, three inches, maybe two and a half inches, something like that. And you can see there's a lot of tannins in the water because there was a couple alder cones in the water. They're the small alder cones, the black alder cones, not the white alder cones. Uh, and those uh, polyfilter chunks in the bottom there. So everybody's happy. So I'm going to net them out and put them in here, and then I'll top this off with fresh water. All righty. So I'm going to use this net. And uh, try and drop them right in front here. They're quick. Here's four. 
and they're out of there in a heartbeat. They do not want to stick around. There's five, six. So it's a sandy bottom, it's pool sand. And there's some mulm. And here is seven, eight. And there's plant bits down there. I am fishing right now. And there is number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. How many of you get that reference? So, let's get you off the tripod here. Dramamine. And there they are. So they'll be all right in here. I'll top this off. And I'll fish out the polyfilter bits, throw those away, put the water on the plant out in the yard. And there's also some uh, uh, red cherry shrimp in here. No, I take that back, orange sun kiss shrimp. And there's a snail or three, and a bunch of guppy grass, and there's a little, some other plants. There's a little bit of uh, salvinia minima, and there's probably a cryptic chlorine little one floating in here somewhere. But anyway, they should be happy, and we'll keep you updated. And once again, David, thank you very much for the fish and that pepper onion uh, relish. Looking forward to that. All right. Thanks for looking.